Are we moving? <laughs> Are we changing our lifestyle? Did we sell the chickens, the dogs, everything's gone, and we moved into this new house that is green, and we got a new bed, and new walls, and new door? No. No. <laughs> this is a whole room that I built downstairs, though. That did change the way that we live, but... Yeah, but in a so, different way than we're talking about. Today. Yes. Today, we're going to talk about something that has affected us dramatically uh, in the past two years in particular. Um, and we pretty much view everything, not completely differently, but completely differently. Sarah and I both came from health conscious homes, as in, well, people don't believe me when I say this online, but I got made fun of for being healthy growing up. You know, because people were eating candies, they're watching yeah. Nickelodeon. But like 90s kids, when everybody, every child was eating yeah. like Pop-Tarts, Pop -tarts Pop -tarts. fruit roll-ups, bagel like bites, fruit roll-ups is basically candy and it was the acceptable snack. Yeah. We didn't eat any of that. So people don't believe me i was made fun of for this so you know what i had to embrace the fact that i drank apple cider vinegar that i didn't eat <laughs> at mcdonald's every day that i didn't do all this stuff and it became a part of my life it truly it to this day it has become a part of my character yeah and you came from a health conscious home as well we had to do it more from like necessity because we had we were weird and we had like a lot of food allergies but you had food allergies to... before it was cool yeah. You did. You, were, yeah. you guys were no looking for goat milk before to, like, it was cool. gluten and dairy and all of this stuff. Yeah. And we were like going to the backwoods health food stores just trying to find spelt because we didn't do, use flour and just like right. all of that. That's you easy guys, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's doing it now. So when we got married, we were both kind of like on the same page about yeah, yeah, yeah. like our diet and like the things that we ate. But even since then, how we eat, how we shop, everything has changed mm -hmm. completely drastically to a point where even our families don't really understand. Where I don't even understand. <laughs> I feel like it's a little absurd sometimes. We're pretty balanced though, because I'm not gonna sit here and say that we never have a bagel bite. We just don't buy it and bring it into our house. Well, we have fun at parties, the That's bagel true. bites, That's the true. birthday party. <laughs> so we're balanced. Yeah. As far as what we bring into our house though, we do have certain standards that we stick to. I will say it is sometimes a little frustrating because I'll go to the store and I'll be like, oh, that looks, that looks neat. I have to read all the ingredients. Throw it away. <laughs> Everything Canola can oil. get anything. And some of it has been, unfortunately, from necessity because of me. Yes, and and so in, in some sick way, your poor health, it's actually kind of been a blessing because it's kind of forced us to go down routes that we wouldn't have normally. There's definitely a silver lining to all the health issues I have been. Yeah ridden with <laughs> over my life that has made us learn all of these really amazing things that has helped you yeah with it's my health helped too. us help other people yeah it's led me to like really get into health i got my health coach certification mm -hmm. and so that's just something i really enjoy doing and so even though sometimes i'm like why am i so unlucky to have all of these different issues throughout my life and then i think wow i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing if i hadn't gone through that sarah had lyme disease when she was a teenager, <laughs> then she had endometriosis that she just had surgery for. It's just been kind of bumpy, right? Especially the past two years. Yeah. Now that you've been recovering from endometriosis and long COVID and stuff has been going away, doing significantly better. But a lot of that is because we kind of uh, pivoted more and now we're going in a very, very straight line to uh, the final destination, which is death. Inevitably, Sarah. I enjoy it. And I, like I said, I feel like we're really balanced about it. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't feel like we're overly obsessive. I, or, I'm we not. are. <laughs> Let's get into the different things that we have changed yeah, over the past. So number one, the first thing is that before we had like scented candles, we had all this stuff. We didn't yeah. think about any of like the, 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 the cleaners that we used, all this, we, you know, you're breathing in all these fumes all day long. You're like, hey, look, this isn't going to hurt me. <laughs> like, you don't even think about it. Well, I mean, back then we, we'd never even heard of endocrine disruptors like most people. I still I don't know what an endocrine I is. Think, <laughs> I think, um, I think it's become more common yeah, knowledge more now. Common. Slowly been making the changes yeah. to products that don't contain those things. And it really has taken like three years. My makeup, the hair products we use. Yeah, just my like makeup, all those. <laughs> my hair products. So endocrine disruptors are basically chemicals that mess with your endocrine system. What is your endocrine system? Mo or basically your hormones. So okay. yeah, it just does a lot of bad things to your hormones. Yes, it does. Which is really bad if you have endometriosis. And you can't avoid these chemicals completely, especially like in your home, like almost every- yeah, in modern life. Home item, like rugs and 
curtains, curtains, upholstered furniture, all of these things are probably going to contain these chemicals. But one major item that we've been able to get toxic free has actually been a new mattress thanks to Helix sibling company, Birch Living. I know that a lot of you out there are as health conscious as we are. I call us health nuts in, in generally. <laughs> Have you ever considered that your mattress could actually be toxic? And you spend a lot of time on your mattress. Half your life, they say. Well, have you ever considered an organic mattress? A mattress made from organic wool, organic cashmere, material sourced straight from nature, not polyurethane foams that can cause harmful off-gassing. A mattress free from harmful fiberglass and harsh and unnecessary chemicals and pollutants. Well, now Birch Living is sponsoring and they have an amazing opportunity to get your hands on one of these amazing organic mattresses. Birch makes mattresses that are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. We just our birch mattress in the mail this month. With free shipping actually, because we're in the US and we have been absolutely loving it. It just came rolled up in a box and was super easy to set up ourselves. I can sleep well because I know that the mattress I'm sleeping on is made with natural and organic materials sourced straight from nature, which are both comfortable and durable. Oh wow. It's really balancing. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress made with organic and natural materials because I normally burn up at night, but the organic materials in this mattress keep me so cool and comfortable all night long. It was important for me to choose a birch luxe mattress with the organic and natural materials because I normally burn up while I'm sleeping at night, but the organic materials in this mattress keep me so cool and comfortable at night, it is unbelievable. And even though this birch luxe natural mattress has got certified organic, green guard gold certified, fair trade certified and Forest Stewardship Council certified, even though it has all those accolades, what I like most is just how comfortable it is and how fast I fall asleep. We ordered the Birch Lux Natural Mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original and well-loved Birch Natural Mattress. The Birch Lux Mattress is comprised of eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. And the great thing is that with your Birch Mattress comes a 100 night sleep trial and also a 25 year warranty it's crazy. They even offer in-home setup and removal to make your buying experience just that much more convenient. We love our Birch mattress and we think you will too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch Living. Visit birchliving.com slash Jordan Taylor to get 20% off your Birch mattress, plus two free Eco Rest pillows, extremely comfortable I pillows. Love the pillows. Number two is that we cook everything ourselves. And this isn't, my mom cooked a ton. So, I mean, and so did mine. Yeah, yes. that, so this isn't like necessarily from... different, but we started to do less of that and then all of a sudden we did like extreme it was like we were like okay we're busy we started buying the like kind of chick-fil-a kind of chicken and the little french fry and we were starting to eat that and then at some point we were like what are we doing and then we just went hardcore swung to the left and we're like we only eat it if if you cook if it. We only. It. I feel like we're pretty balanced. Yeah, like, but like we'll still like go out. It's not like we're never gonna eat. go out to no, eat no, or no. things like that. We're not but insane. At home, I would say 99% of what we eat, it's like I have prepared it from okay. home. For instance, the other day, I I come in and Sarah's like, oh hey, I made this in like 45 minutes, and it was like she had made these hamburgers. She had made the buns. She had just baked the buns. She had. <laughs> gotten the well, she had made the patties she had like we were driving home and Jordan goes man I just would like really want five guys it's the greatest but we're ever. not gonna stop at five guys we're gonna go home and I'm gonna cook something and so I was like I'll just make five guys so I come home I start working <laughs> I have no clue what she's doing next thing I know she's like I made this in 30 minutes I got it on a zoom it was call. an hour it was and an then she had made all this crazy stuff in 30 minutes uh, it hour. was like a 30 minute meal a, Rachel it Ray was an hour <laughs> You get used to you get used to doing it and it's not so hard anymore. I won't say I won't completely miss the convenience of packaged food. But we're kind of but at the point that I don't need it. We believe that you can eat anything in a healthy way if you make it yourself. If you want to have a hamburger, if you make the buns, if you want to take the time to make the buns, do the meat, do all the stuff. If you want to make that yourself, if you want to eat a cake or a cupcake and you want to take the time to... Within it's reason. Within reason. If you're thinking about, oh, getting at least healthy ingredient, healthy-ish ingredients, it's not going to have all of the shortening. It's not going to have all this crazy stuff. And it's going to be a lot better for you than the thing that you would have gotten in the bakery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot better for your health, even though it's not good for your health. And it's I'm gonna not be... going to... Like, also, like, we'll eat out sometimes. We'll yeah. also eat packaged food sometimes. If this, we're basically talking about, like, 90% of the time. Yeah. I just feel like it's worth 
the work to doing your own food prep and cooking with whole ingredients just because when I go and even like he like healthy things at the store, they just have so many added mm -hmm. chemicals and things that are just not food in it. Well, and it's even stuff that like nobody knew, well, I say nobody, but most everybody didn't know about. Even when we were kids, like eating healthy, yeah. as you get older, it's like, oh, I didn't realize that canola oil was like bad for you or this kind of oil was like, oh, we should stay away from that or this ingredient really means this and that's bad. Like we right. knew about hydrogenated oils and stuff like that right. back in the day, but now we're realizing that was just scratching the surface. And so now we're kind of at the route where it's like, hey, it's like everything. But if you like learn to cook, it just can completely change the trajectory of your family's health for generations. That's kind of what I've learned and you may about. quote me. What? Whenever you say something that really inspiring, you, <laughs> say, you may quote me. Number three is raising our own meat and eggs. And this is something that I never thought in my life that I would do. Before, I couldn't imagine killing something. Yeah, no. I couldn't, I, I, it's still, it is still extremely hard for me to be honest. But this is something now that we've intentionally shifted to be like, this is what people have done forever. Yeah. We're the first generation to think that this is weird. Yeah, it really just was a, a mindset shift for us. I and mean, it took us several months yeah. to like have to come to terms with it, which sounds silly to us now, I think. But it was a process of being like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We had to like set a date and like work our way up to it. But when I was a kid, like I didn't even want to like touch the cooked turkey. Like, yeah, my know, mom exactly. would like, you know, take the extra meat off the turkey at Thanksgiving. I'd be like, oh, that's so gross. And now or like I'm like- eating, Or like you've got a, a, a turkey leg or a chicken leg yeah. and you're trying to eat like, all of it off. It off now, it, now when we actually produce our own, I'm like, yeah, get every little be piece off of that because th this is like, this is meaningful. This isn't yeah, just like, like something you bought. Yeah, and everything. I was embarrassed at myself. I was like, this is ridiculous that I eat meat that some person has most likely inhumanely killed. Yeah. And I will eat that, but I won't do it myself in a humane way, in a loving, they're free ranging, all this stuff. And I can't do that and, and I can't eat my own meat. I was yeah. like, this is just so lame. I, I should be able to do this. And now it's kind of the point where like, I feel guilty eating meat that like, it's just like your- Your Tyson, your, your like, yeah, this kind of stuff. Cause I think about how the chicken lived and was processed and it just- We've seen the I, documentaries, we've yeah, seen the Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, it's, but when I eat one of our chickens, it just, it's completely different. It's like so They gratifying. basically had one bad day. They had an amazing life, they had one bad day. It like wasn't even a bad day though. Like they don't even, know. They have no clue. They don't know. It's very peaceful. Number four is basically our entire view of nutrition has just been a brain shift because we think more in blood sugar than we than we kind of do about anything else. Not that blood sugar is the end all be all, I but- I would say nutrition and blood sugar, which also encompasses gut health, because if your yeah. gut isn't healthy, you're not absorbing nutrition. Right. So that really got us into that first, of like learning to heal our gut. Then mm -hmm. we learned about blood sugar, and then we just like took it from there. And seeing like nutrition through the lens of blood sugar and gut health, I feel like has been extremely eye-opening. Yeah, oh, I mean, that's helped me tremendously with just so many different things. Yeah. A lot of problems that I had growing up, like digestive problems and stuff like that, that I've talked about on this channel that I thought was like a dairy intolerance or something, actually turned out that it was, uh, my gut was just all out of whack. And once we fixed that, and we talk about this on Instagram a lot, once we fixed that, um, then it was like all this stuff just seemed like it just kind of solved itself in some way or just was gone. It was also like a huge turning point for me with endometriosis. Like I had about five years being completely symptom free after I healed my gut. Yeah. If you have any questions about that, message us on Instagram. That's all we like to talk about on there is gut health. So uh, definitely do that. Blood sugar. <laughs> and blood sugar, yeah. And also just being more like protein focused where it's like, I, we didn't think about oh, tons of that protein. before. All we did or even just like when you eat foods. To like, That's right. where it's like, as long as it was a healthy food, you know, you can, You're just, you can just snack at it, snack on yeah. it whenever, not thinking about that that's like causing something happening I in your know. body. I know, now when I'm at like parties and stuff, I'm so Yeah, I don't so just psycho. like graze on the- Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I know I see everybody like, it's like 
people are about to leave. It's 9 p.m. All of a sudden, the person goes over, grabs another slice of pizza, eats another little donut. I'm like, dude, you don't. We're even, sounding really you don't even re No, no, no. But I just feel like this, this, this. Like, I wish that they. Also, like, I feel like when I do like health coaching, if you're a mom and you're just like you're making food for your toddlers, and so you're just like eating goldfish here, and you're spike eating there, this over spike here. There. Yeah, yeah. And so you're just getting spike. Your blood sugar spikes all day, and then you wonder why you have no. No energy, energy and one you're meal. snapping at everybody and you're hangry yeah. all the time. Just have one meal, then have another meal, and then another meal. Don't don't like have a meal, have a snack, have a snack, have a meal, have a snack. Just have a meal, eating early, not eating late at night, and then you're done. And you feel so much better. You have such a more of a level mood and energy. It's it's remarkable. It's That's one of the big how, changes. And it sound I, I, I think when we talk about it, sometimes it sounds like overwhelming or complicated. And so it's like, oh, that'd be too much work. But the freedom that comes with like not having, not being controlled by yeah. like cravings and mood swings and your blood sugar dropping. You're driving and, and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to eat. And like I, need to, I need to survive on goldfish. Not having food and stuff like that. The, the freedom that comes of not having to deal with any of that is worth it. And it's like, once you get in the rhythm, you, it's not difficult at all. It just comes naturally. Yeah. So that's like a quick rundown, but I feel like those five areas are really where we've worked to make the most changes. And it's I feel like made it's helped us a lot. Such a huge difference. You're kind of going, you go up and down and up and down, but I feel like right now your trajectory, cause your low is pretty low. Like after the surgery and after all the COVID stuff, your low was pretty low. And I think that COVID affected you more because of the endometriosis. I think it was probably like it was a horrible of itself. feedback yeah. loop. And so she was at a pretty low. It's kind of hard to over under overestimate. And now it's kind of like goes up and then it goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Then it goes up and then it goes up. I feel like I'm pretty up right now. Now you're up. Yeah. This today you're up. Let's see yeah. how tomorrow is. Well, it's not bad. It's not that bad. But I feel like you're doing though, a lot better. Even though I, it's been a tough two years health-wise, I never settle for like, this is how I'm gonna be. Like, I'm always looking yeah. for, I, I believe that 99% of the time, there is a solution to how you're feeling and you shouldn't like accept living with symptoms. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe some people could think that's like excessive, like, you know, never like, settle, never oh, quit. Oh, that, that kind of stuff is normal. But I have again and again found answers. So I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna settle for it not being the best. Follow us on Instagram where we talk about health stuff and what's helped us and stuff. And maybe it can help you, like it helped us. And uh, that's, I guess, the end of the video. Check out Birch Living, they really are Amazing. I mean, it's just I love this. Thing. I really like it's, it and it fits mm -hmm. so well in this room. I love it. I love it so much. We'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye